some coin round here. You helped me. You need a place to lay low for a while. I know a safe enough place. My friends there are all in pretty I'm bad. I'm keen to find your safe place. I'll sit here. Hand me your map and I'll mark the way. Careful where you tread. Beasts, spectres, bones. Even void woken sometimes. I even saw a winter dragon. In here I've never even read about like Ash Ketchum talking about Mew. Even saw a winter dragon once. But I make sure nobody sees me. Uh, tell him if you want to stick together. No offense, but I'm safer alone. Bullshit. Sure. Quick too. Like that kid from Jurassic Park too. If you make it, ring the bell outside, and tell Bahara I sent you. I'm heading there now. Okay. Adorable surroundings and agree. Isn't the cat supposed to? The cat spe purrs loudly. As speak of. I might need to reload the game. I'm not getting the pop-ups for like, you learned a new spell. I had already read about that mechanic, so it wasn't uh, too difficult to figure out what happened. But it did not alert me. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that is when just the lucky charm pays off. Yes. That, of course, was so many years ago now. I can hardly remember. Oh, this is boss fight with the seven friends. Come back for that. He's the reason all this blood is draining out. So I find a Lucky Charm, it can go off on anything that the game considers a container. So like these bodies that are already on the ground that were like there from the time the game was set up. Not like a body that just hits the ground from something you kill. But I have books on a bookshelf, like anything that the game thinks of as a container, you can just suddenly pull like magic two-hand swords out of and stuff if the Lucky Charm procs. Alright, got this waypoint. The serenity in the eyes of the granite statue seemed to imply this place feels like a refuge from all. For the first time in what feels like forever, you feel safe. You know this is the statue's gift. You feel the statue smile. Did that actually do anything? I don't think it did. All right. It's getting pretty late here on the East Coast. I'll probably go for 10, 15 more minutes and then wrap it up. As you near a figure clad in old blackened armor, Sibyl takes your hand and gives it a squeeze. I have a feeling yonder creepy crawly is the lone wolf I've been looking for. You wouldn't mind if I asked him a few pertinent questions, would you? <laughs> Save game. You keep killing people after you talk to them. Go I'm ahead. Doing the very, very best. Sibyl addresses the solitary figure. You hear but whispers and hisses in return. Just when you think a fight is about to break out, Sibyl's words seem to sway him into submission. He speaks, uncomfortably. She listens, her face hard and pale. His name. Come, let's go. I have what I came for. Who's Roost? He's the one who abducted me, who delivered me to the master. I'm going to find this man, and we're going to get mightily reacquainted. Oh, future boss fight, I take it? The hooded man exudes a restrained menace that near matches your own. As he raises his head, the oh, he's got money. Let's empty the bags. I have so many wares dead. to sell. Nom 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 nom. Ah, one of my own kind. Be not frightened of me, brother. There's far worse than my bite in this quagmire. Though I see you hidey hiding behind the mask. Are you ashamed of who you are? Um, no, I just don't want to get attacked on sight. He laughs. Perfect. There's an answer that matches. That seems to make the ground vibrate underneath you. Around here, you'll be lucky to last a day regardless of your... But maybe I can help you out. If you've the coin. Trinkets and wonders I have here in my pack. The smallest of costs, I'll tell you. Oh yes, that I do. Some older than even this isle upon which we stand. Trinkets from ancient humans, 
You're not interested in times when people were even more primitive than they are today. What? You expect me to be carting Maxers and Starfarers? Uh, he stares at you silently for a long moment. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Not even a uh -huh. All right, who are you? Terrific rasp of bones. Call me Zanasgar. Now, what else concerning me is yours to ask? My business is my own, and none of it yours. Uh, okay, I've heard enough. All right. Camera went kind of weird there. So draw a bridge leading back into the fort. I will eventually butcher all of you. Need that XP. Let's snoop around down here a little bit. Oh, shield. Is that dog gonna attack? No, it's yellow. All right. And auto sort, because we just sold like 80 items. Oh wait, is... All right. Does everyone have gloves? Oh, go back, go back. Upgrade for Ethan. Hey, dog. What's up? More dead majesty. Why would they write this? It's like watching I Am Legend. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. <laughs> this gets worse with every selection. <laughs> the dog is blinded by its muzzle. But it turns its face toward you. When mm. As she considers your statement, her nostrils. Oh gosh! Now she's gonna remember her job. Ah, <sighs> great! I don't even. Can I see what stats he had? Yeah. Oh jeez, he was. I was stacking wits on this guy, so it's a small margin, but int. Oh yes. Okay, okay, shit. Don't bite me. Uh, Co-op's pretty good. You, you have to be patient. Because while, if you're playing with a friend, and you're, you know, it's, when you get into combat, when you're in the same fight, it's effectively turn-based. Because the heroes go in order. So if you're each controlling two heroes, it'll be like, one of yours, one of theirs, one of yours, one of theirs, and on and on and on. But when the other person's taking their turn, you have to wait. Um, often, if one person is in a conversation, if the other person doesn't find it interesting, like if they're not big on RP games, they might go wandering off. So you might be talking to some guy, learning some lore, and the other guy be like, uh, can you help? I'm in a fight. And then you realize he's like three screens away and he's pissed off the guards because he got caught pickpocketing and half the town is chasing him. Source experience. So, fantastic game for multiplayer, but you do need the right friend. All right, save game. Because I am paranoid with my one life. The woman traces glyphs in the air, and you cringe, expecting a barrage of ice and fire. Instead, a bit of... My lord, I love you. I've obeyed you. What's my sin? How long must I suffer? She sees you approach and punches her fist in your direction. Her face oh, it's the chick from the intro movie. It's the, the lady that blew up the ship. The one and stole my hat! Oh, there it is. She wavers for a moment and you see a flash of recognition. You. It is you. You're the one who crossed Yeah, because my skull is so well hidden. Contraption. Most artifacts like this mask are junk. Who are you? What are you? Oh. Yeah, I don't even know my own past. It didn't tell me a lot about it. I strode this earth before your wretched species no, even existed. What a specimen. So a skeleton of a human strolled the earth before human. The 
will almost be a shame to destroy such an ancient relic. <laughs> you can't defeat me. That was very skeletal of me to say that. Some mad witch. She turns her head to the I offer this sacrifice. Okay. Oh, bitch. Oh my god, my whole party's almost dead. I am... Yeah. We're gonna reload her right before she... <laughs> fucking railroaded my party. <laughs> We're gonna spread out a little bit. So that all that only hits one person. All right. Detach, detach, detach. Come on. It's difficult to just scatter the whole party in this. There. Whatever. Good enough. Good enough. All right, I want to hit the same dialogue options. I liked that. I like how that was going. Mm. All right, she just so, so that time she backed up because we were not as juicy a targets. I was really that was still able to hit all four of us. Damn. All right. 221 magic. So we're going physical. All right, this time. I just heard the sound for someone with... I just found buried treasure by her feet. I'm Clearly one of my people is not focused on the fight right now. Just has time to look around on the ground. Oh hell yeah, yeah. Like I said, if it's a if it's a person that you can be, it's really great if you're sitting right next to each other because uh, you can look over and you can see the other person is actively doing something. If you're just sitting there uh, talking over headsets, sometimes you, know, you you sometimes have the you those moments where like you know it's your turn, right? Oh shit, you know because you you sit there for like thirty seconds waiting for them to do their move and then they didn't realize they kind of zoned out or they're playing Clash of Clans on their phone or some crap. Going to surround her with gremlins. Let's use adrenaline for a bonus turn. to throw the shield up. Hopefully avoid getting my ass torched off again. Alright, I hope she tries to move. She'll get four AOOs. Nope, <laughs> she's just gonna fireball her own feet. Oh well. Don't want to fire Totem. She's got too much magic armor. Unleash the sticks! Oh, 
Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I played Pillars of Eternity for quite a while, and I actually never beat the game. Like, I got really far in the... What is it called? It's like the Endless Maze of Caden Nua or something like that. And I was not able to get through it. Like, there was this one system that it had where is uh, if you cranked up the difficulty, it reduced how often you could rest. And I wanted the difficulty cranked up for the fights because, honestly, on normal, it was just cakewalk. But you cranked up the difficulty and you could only carry two of these things called camping logs. And that allowed you to rest outside of town two times. And so you'd be like 10 levels deep in a dungeon and you would need to heal and you were out of your two logs and you would have to walk out of the dungeon. There was no town portal. You had to walk up the 15 floors of the dungeon back to town to go buy two more logs. And it was a massive time sink. Just that one mechanic constantly had me uh, like having to put in a real effort to stay with the game. Aside from that, it was a great game. I just couldn't get past that, and I wasn't able to finish it. Yeah, my understanding... Nice, turret's finished her. My understanding is that there's just one game, and then what just came out was Deadfire, which was an expansion, I believe. Um, I have no experience with Deadfire, but I think that's what it was. And you guys uh, can correct me if, I, if anyone here knows if I'm wrong. All right, got the mask. At this low a level, I'll take the ability to change it to another race over the one armor that my current helmet provides. Later on, it won't be as worth it. Oh my gosh, that hat is hideous. Let's turn that off. <laughs> All right, so... Let's turn into a human so we have another do-better shout. Mm, mustache. Delightful. Alright, who's going to get this armor? I guess you. Thank you, Sibyl. Alright, let's everybody do a hand-me-down shield. And sell that one. And Sibyl, have a head to eat. Nom, 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 nom. Inches above the ground. Your friends are impressed. Oh, nice. Free spread your wings. Now for the treasure that we found in the middle of a fight. Crossbow. Okay. Oh, hidden treasure marked on. Oh, you know what? The um, the elf hand that Sibyl ate earlier that gave her knowledge of a treasure. I bet this was it. Crafting Bible. Those usually give a ton of recipes. Eleven new recipes learned. So there might have been even more in there, but those are just the ones that I did not already have. Hydro. Perfect. So I do remember from my uh, one time playing through this game back when it first came out, there is one of the, a piece of the Tyrant set up here. You have to use the teleport gloves to get to it. So let's take Sabil, pick up Fane, and hurl him into this mess. And then you gotta grab all the loot before your magic armor wears off. Is that everything? I think it is. All right, jump. Oh, 
poison dart. We already have someone with that. Another magic shield. It's fantastic. This is going to help with the survivability a lot. Teaches the bouncing shield skill. Don't know why the game auto hotkeys some of this stuff. Alright, can't wear the boots right now because of the curse. They will ruin my day. Alright, let's hand me down everybody's shields. Sell the last one. Hang on to that book for now. Um, you It's four characters total. So if you play multiplayer with one friend, you would each uh, get two characters. If you played with a total of three friends, which I've done before, three, you know, uh, two of the people will have one character and one of the people will control two characters. Now, you don't even have to get that fourth person, but it kind of just hurts you not to. Like, there's no benefit to using three people over four. Now, if you use two people over four, you can get the, uh, what is it called, lone wolf talent. So anytime you, and you see a lot of those, if you go on Twitch and look at the list of people streaming this game, you'll see a lot of people say lone wolf playthrough. And the lone wolf talent, it's, uh, it's right here. I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, instead of having four AP per turn, you have six. Uh, you have more vitality, more armor, more magic armor. Um, each point you put in attributes, and attributes are these things. Strength, finesse, and they're, they're doubled. Um, also, or was it? I lost track of it there. There we go. And any points you put into combat are doubled except for polymorph. Um, and that's because it would make an infinite loop, because polymorph gives an attribute point. It would make a loop. The... Point. So that means at summoning 5, it doubles and because it becomes summoning 10. And you can effectively have, like, summoning 10 summons a gargantuan incarnate. If you haven't seen it before, going from 9 to 10 is like 4 times strength. It's a huge jump. You can literally get that thing before you even fight the crocodiles, which is like the first fight of the game, the first real fight of the game. And... As far as like Act 1 and Act 2 goes, having two people with uh, Lone Wolf compared to four normal people, the two people Lone Wolf is incredibly overpowered in comparison. I don't know if it tapers off toward the end game because I only did it to like the end of Act 1, but I really kind of lost interest in it because it was it felt like I was playing a game where I had punched in a cheat code and I was invulnerable. No matter our master was clear, none shall pass. What level are these guys? Four? I'm four, okay, so it's even. Oh, sweet thing. If you think I stole the tail just because you asked. She reaches for her weapon. I could try to talk her out of it. Kinda wish I was in skeleton form right now. I bet I would have more dialogue options. Oh well. I'll get the sh bouncing shield thing. Okay. Um, looks like physical, other than this guy. Oh, there's a fourth one over here. Thank you, Minimap. Okay. Physical or magical is about even this five. I need to commit to one, so I'll just do physical. How much damage does this do? 36? Okay, totem would be better. Master Agent, when you say looking at the game for more than two minutes, are you talking about Divinity or talking about Pillars, which we were discussing earlier? Glory is mine. Glory is mine. Uh, 
Okay, we got some blood to use up there. Let's see. I don't know if there's enough room. I'll try to make an incarnate out of that. Damn, there's not. Alright. What about a blood totem? Beauty. Oh, this guy's holding the sword by the blade like he's a... Uh... Oh, what is it? Like, For Honor did that. Like, the the, uh, the knights, in moments of desperation, they could, like, turn the thing around and basically hammer people with the hilt if they held it right. That's cool. That's the first mob I've seen in this game do that. Okay, anyway. You get the hell away from me. Let's drop you on your friend. Oh, shit. Is it too late? Can I use Adrenaline? Damn it. I wanted to use Adrenaline to tap into my following turn, but I, meant I had to do it before I run out of action points or it auto ends the turn. Ouch. Hey, AOL. Okay. Lay into the Archer some more. Oh, that wasn't the archer. That was. I didn't realize the archer backed up, so this other guy came up the ladder. Okay. Out of AP. He did. Hey, whoa. The guy's getting really low. Wannabe night guy comes in. Oh shit. <sighs> Crippled, can't move. Oh, that is not good. I really needed his shout. Oh wait, I can do shout on this guy now. Forgot. Okay. Knock one of them down. Do better. Including the stick. That stick is so inspired. Oh! Chicken Ephon wandered close to the enemy and got AOO'd. reach any blood. I can't make these things bleed, but blood totems still do more damage. He's trying to... some bills, okay. Alright, cut yourself. Fun fact, when she cuts herself, her hit points actually heal because her max health goes down, which then the barge looks like it's full, and when it returns to normal, it fills back up. So it's kind of like a heal with a three turn delay. Yeah, having having played Pillars of Eternity, normal, not dead fire, and uh, Divinity 1 and 2, I would recommend either the Divinities before Pillars, but that's just me. But if you enjoy the style of game, I think you would enjoy any of the three, at least a, a bit, the, to the point where you would not regret your money. Down. Looks like this guy's legs finally are not broken anymore. I'm so nervous about this guy. Oh, he hit the person at full health. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Clip. 
chloroformed the stick again. You know what, I 